Hello and welcome to another episode of Item Review, the series where we're looking at different items from different mods to see if they're any good. Today we're looking at the Soul Harvester from the Calamity mod, so let's have a look. Remember to like and subscribe, and without any further ado, let's get on with the review. So then, in order to make the Soul Harvester, we're going to need a Death Sickle, which you get from Reapers during a Solar Eclipse, 20 Cursed Flame, I'm not entirely sure you can use Icor, and 10 Plague Cell Canisters, which drop from those strange cell monsters in the plague bring a goliath after golem has been defeated this weapon therefore is limited to a corruption world as you need cursed flames as i don't think it works with icor and this is the weapon it is a melee weapon it is similar to the demon scythe and it spreads the plague so let's have a little look so as always, let's try it out on a King Slime. Here he comes. As you can see, he does go through blocks, and that is one powerful debuff. Wow, that is actually quite powerful. I'm not even doing anything, and he's being melted. That is, that is very impressive, actually. And whenever a mob dies near another one, it does spread the plague, as it were. And each of these sides appear to hit multiple times as well, which is always very useful. Let's try another one. Oh, got the ammo rock. It appears that it pierces or hits maybe two, three times. It's definitely a good weapon, I'd say. Probably best against a crowd because of those explosions with the plague. Just as a side note, this weapon is a material for a much greater weapon. It is an item for the Nano Black Reaper, which I imagine I will cover later. We will not be looking at it today. And I think that's going to do it for today. I really like this weapon. I think it's really nice. It's got the nice plague. It's got a nice debuff. It explodes basically an upgraded um, it's an upgraded death sickle which is really nice as the death sickle does become kind of useless unless of course you get lucky and get a solar eclipse after or before plantera and after the three mech bosses so this is really nice weapon yeah so don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video